So it's estimated nearly 4 million people in Australia live with a form of arthritis and there's almost 100 different forms of the disease. When rheumatologists think about um, joint disease and arthritis, we tend to divide things up into two main categories, um, into the inflammatory and the non-inflammatory. So when we think about non-inflammatory disease, that's things like osteoarthritis, which is more of a wear and tear phenomenon and tends to affect people as they get older. The other category is the inflammatory diseases, and, and they tend to be caused by uh, changes in a person's um, immune system. The immune system can then activate and start to cause inflammation inside the joints or even the muscles and ligaments. And then this leads to a whole host of, uh, of rheumatological diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Inflammation occurs when white cells go from the bloodstream into joints and this causes pain, redness, swelling and can lead to joint damage. In a joint there's um, usually two bones and then there's fluid and there's tissue to, to cushion the joint. In arthritis the tissue and the fluid becomes inflamed and attacked by the immune system. So it's not as, it's not as strong as a, as a shock absorber. So as a result of that, the joint becomes worn and the bone may start to affect and, and grind the other bone. And so there's a lot of pain and inflammation and swelling and hot heat. And as a result of that, that's where the patient will feel the, the symptoms. If we can protect the joint, again with medication, with physical therapies, with making sure that mechanically there's not a lot of weight on the joint, then of course preservation of the joint is something that they can achieve.